My goodness. I mean, these kids are doing incredible work. Listen has been doing incredible work since 1990. And, you know, the LGBTQ community has inspired me so much in my life. I should be giving them an award. I mean, well, to be honest, the statistics right now are devastating. Um, we're moving backwards. And nine out of ten children um, are saying in school that they have been either bullied and or assaulted. Um, it's just not acceptable in the United States. This is absolutely unacceptable. And um, we know that programs like Listen with comprehensive um, programs, we know this works. Um, we know to talk about it in schools and to have comprehensive plans in place and to include these children and to talk about inclusive inclusivity and um, have anti-bullying campaigns specifically to protect the LGBTQ community. We know the results work. There's less depression and higher success rates. So um, we know these programs work. Um, we know we're experiencing a moment right now in, in, in our country where for some reason the violence is at an all-time high. So I'm here to, uh, to help support their initiative and help bring some attention to their initiative and just spread the word that kindness is the way to go. I mean, we should all be respecting each other. I I'm not exactly sure, well, that's not true. I know exactly what happened, where we went wrong. But for some reason, um, a pot, a big, a steaming hot pot of hatred has been served up in this country. And uh, the pot is being stirred uh, at every level. And uh, we're not a better country for it, I can assure you of that. It's, it's really important to me, I think, just being a part of a generation in which we take identity as one whole thing, and it's not something to be separated and segmented, to be receiving an award from Glisten, who's literally put in a top priority to ensure that schools are safe spaces, to ensure that people aren't discriminated against for their identity is extremely crucial because ultimately, I think everyone has the right to the gender identity and sexual identity of their choosing and it shouldn't be up to these societal pressures to define who we are to be. I think respect has to do with, it's funny, I was reading this book and they talk about the concept of discrimination lying in the concept of a value gap, of people being valued more than others and it's just as simple of a concept but I think respect has something to do with getting rid of that perceived value gap in everyone that you interact with and in actively not only working to get rid of your own value gap that is established through bias or environment, but to actively work to the wor with the world at large to get rid of this value gap of what life is worth supporting, what life is worth protecting. Great, uh, well of course I think people that know uh, Glisten is in support of the LGBTQ community, um, which I feel like is very important, especially LGBTQ youth and how people are being treated. And I, I feel like that's why we need to go out and vote on November 6th to make sure that we select officials that really care about the world and especially care about schools and young people. And I feel like that's what we're missing in our whole government situation we have on, going on right now. Um, so to be here to support Yara and then to just support this organization is uh, really meaningful and I'm very proud to be here. I came out in 1985 when I was 16 years old and there were very few resources for out gay youth at that time and I always wished that I had somebody or I had something, or I had anything that sort of helped me understand that I was okay. So anytime that I can be a part of that kind of communication with our LGBTQ youth, I'm, I'm, I'm all for it, I'm there. Respect means honoring someone's authenticity. 
regardless of what you think about it personally. You know what I mean? It's like, you must respect me. I don't need your tolerance. I don't need your acceptance, but I demand your respect. What Glisten is really amazing at is bringing in the youth and making them a part of this experience. It's it's not like just Hollywood. It's it's amazing advocates. It's kids that are trying to make a difference. So I love being here and meeting all the kids and, and everyone that are that um, are really taking a stance and standing up to bullying. And it's really inspiring. Ellen recently made quite a bit of noise when she spoke boldly in the press about her fight for a salary that she deserved in a way that women never do. And yeah, and that noise was her. Ellen's choice to share her stark truth about equal pay, as well as the importance of knowing her wealth and owning her power, had an effect. She helped change the conversation in Hollywood about how actors are paid regardless of gender. And though she doesn't like to toot her own horn, she is not simply just the talk. She has seen injustice in the world around, it, around her, and she has challenged it head on. Ellen supports young people and education through her work with places like Baby to Baby and LifeWorks, and she's a fierce advocate for the Children's Defense Fund. She's also supported the LGBTQ plus community on numerous issues, including marriage equality and protecting trans students in schools. In a world, in where, in a world where it's easy to feel overwhelmed by the volume of darkness coming at us and do nothing, Ellen has made the fearless choice again and again to use her power, her voice, and her checkbook to create hope and make change. So yes, these are dark times, but Ellen is not interested in letting them stay this way. When faced with the darkness, Ellen did not light a single candle. Ellen has been busy lighting a bonfire. It is an honor to call her my friend. I am so proud of you, Ellen. So please join me in welcoming to her to the stage, this year's recipient of the Glisten Inspiration Award, Ellen Pompeo. The LGBTQ community has taught me so much about courage, about life, joy, celebration, and self-expression. I really feel like I should be giving all of you the award. And the painful truth is, I was sitting on set last night trying to write this speech, and I was thinking about the current state of this country, and I couldn't think of one inspiring thing to say. But what I could think of was what Bayard Rustin said, and that is that people will never fight for your freedom if you have not given evidence that you are prepared to fight for it yourself. So here we are, celebrating each other and celebrating our collective will and commitment to keep fighting, to keep loving, and to keep pushing our agenda of respect and kindness, and for the right of every child in this country to learn and to grow and to thrive in a safe and supportive environment. We do this not only because this is our responsibility to take care of one another, but we do this to honor and respect Bayard Rustin, Kyler, Matthew Shepard, Blaise Burstein, Michael Costner, Anthony Avalos, London Moore, Ciara Minaj Carter, Fantasia Bell, Sasha Garden, Dejanay Stanton, and every other human being whose life has been senselessly taken because of an absence of love. Woo! 
we will continue to fight and we will continue to teach because these children need us as much as we need them. We will teach our children to fight hatred with kindness. We will teach them that we are each other's keepers. We must also commit to teaching our sons that it is okay to cry and that emotion and sensitivity are not a sign of weakness, but instead a sign of strength. And lastly, and most importantly, we will teach them the universal truth that love is the only thing that is truly worth fighting for. Thank you so much. Thank you. So the dictionary defines a game changer as someone or something who, I guess, makes a shift uh, or a significant shift uh, in a, the way that people think about something or do something. So that's why YouTube is a perfect sponsor for this award, because the platform continues to push the boundaries of how we consume media, how we communicate ideas, and allow all people to be seen and heard. So we've been very, very, very fortunate to see and hear a lot from my friend Yara Shahidi, who has caught the nation's attention on blackish and grownish. Um, and I mean, she's beautiful, she's smart, she's talented, so she could have just, I mean, chosen to enjoy the benefits of being on hit TV shows. But instead of doing that, um, and I mean, yes, we do have a little fun dressing up and going to red carpets, um, but she is using the spotlight to be able to speak out about equality, education, and representation. Uh, she frequently can, participates in panels about inclusion and millennials, and she even uh, made voter registration a vocal point of her activism through her 18 by 18 initiative. She even had a registration booth at her voter-themed 18th birthday party. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> And um, as her 18 by 18 partner, Michael Skolnick said, if Yara wants to be president one day, she will be. And she definitely has my vote as soon as I'm old enough to cast it. <laughs> yes, so please help us welcome this year's Game Changer Award, my big sis, Yara Shahidi. I'm so grateful to be honored by an organization that is working in all areas of society to push forth the right to equity, education, safety, and community, which is owed to all people. But GLSEN is doing more than just that, more than just expanding the boundaries of supporting and protecting the LGBTQ plus community. GLSEN is also telling the world that these boundaries that we've put in place have created a faulty sense of safety that we must dismantle. I have had my mind spun around in space And yet I've watched it grow oh, If you're listening, God, please don't make it hard To know if we should believe the things that we see Tell us, should we run away or should we try and stay Or would it be better just to let things be 